Clippers coming in from out of town for this one. An interconference game today. Here we go. We're live from Boston. It's the home of the Celtics. 2K Sports is proud to present NBA Basketball. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Now here's Smart. Six to shoot. Here's Tatum. From down in the low post, it goes. Two very athletic teams here, Greg. A game that's sure to produce a lot of highlights. It makes me think of Stacy Auger, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. Here's Tatum after the Clippers pick up two. Brown outside. From the arc. There's Williams. And the rejection by Leonard. In the corner, George with it. Pass to Leonard. From deep. And Tatum pulls it down. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. They are trying to keep Williams off the board. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. As to Leonard. Here's Zubats. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Outside Tatum. Leonard with the steal. And taken away by Brown. Inside. And the slam by Williams. Admire how smart is running this offense right now. He has a knack for spotting open teammates. And in terms of the mid range game, Brown has joined a very elite crowd. Yeah, no doubt. This guy is both prolific and proficient. He has worked so hard on the short area dribble, the shot release, so much more consistent, as is his focus. Here are the Celtics dancers. Jackson to the paint kicks it out to Leonard to the inside Zubats that's good and it's Leonard with the assist while he is deliberate Kawhi Leonard reads the defense and knows when and where to put a pass that was beautifully done here's Brown driving the lane and he gets the whistle two free throws coming up that's his first Personal foul. Now that he's attracting First so much foul. defensive attention, Greg, Brown is routinely getting others involved. And how about his assist numbers have skyrocketed. And it's really not surprising. His sole focus is doing what's best for the team. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And for Jalen Brown at the free throw line, he has worked so hard on his mechanics, and that's paid dividends in terms of his confidence, guys. And the bucket is good. Three-point free chance here for him. Personal foul. That'll put Paul George on the line. 
That's on Jalen Brown. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Clippers? They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. What passing we've seen from this group already, too. They could put up a big number in the assist column by the end of this one. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. In the corner, George with it. Ball Gets the three-pointer to fall. Full three. George has got six points. It matters not if you're staying attached and connected to Paul George. He's got the height and release point to get it off anyway. Out of and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. I caught up with Coach Ime Adoka. He and his assistants are trying to figure out ways to run Paul George off of the three-point line. Coach said, even though George is a good passer, he's an elite shooter. We'd rather force him into making plays for others. This is the kind of problem that a superstar presents every night. Kevin? Thanks, David. Here's Zubats. Shot from 12. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They trail by three. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Here's Los Angeles now. Leonard attacking. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Boy, what is more fear invoking than Kawhi off the bounce near the cup? Look out. Pass to Pritchard. To the middle. It's tipped. Williams. Going inside. Now Tice. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Nobody near George. It's three pointers off the mark. Here's Pritchard. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Williams. The kick out to Brown. Jacks up a three. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Clippers lead by five. The second quarter coming up right after this break. So, Fans, your Celtics dancer. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far from the Clippers, guys. What are your thoughts? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. I'll tell you, that willingness to make the extra pass, that is what creates good looks. It also forces the defense to scramble. You know, something that Williams does so well, as soon as he has inside position, he just goes for the finish. And the Boston. rebound battle split evenly thus far. Teams often try to slow down point guards with bigger defenders, but Greg, you locked up without that edge. How'd you do it? A little 
athleticism, Kevin, and a lot of desire. Celtics trail by five. White with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Tatum no good. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Jackson from long range. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Pass to Zubac. Shot clock at six. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And the Clippers miss again. Probably play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. And here's Smart. Down low. From deep three-point range, Jackson misses. Austin trailing. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Horford. And the dunk by Horford. From Jason Tatum. How about Jason Tatum with a little pocket pass in the pick and roll? That's nice. And you think back to that 2017 draft. Scouts trying to poke holes in Tatum's game. But really... He just needed a little time to develop his skills and get stronger. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, mid-range jumpers are something of a lost art these days. They're still practiced by superstars like Kawhi Leonard. Coach Ty Lue said, why not work on the shots that teams are giving up? Down the stretch, mid-range shots win games. Playoffs, too. If you shoot it at a high clip, it's just as good as a three for me. Guys? And they do shoot it at a good clip, and they rely on it quite a bit. David, thank you. First team foul. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. Well, you see Jason Tatum rise above the defense and leave no doubt. And without naming names, it feels like Tatum, you know, is starting to dominate other all-stars at his position. And now his game is so complete. Regularly over 40% from three. He can drive and post you up. The only success defenders have is when they guess right. And uh, this guy is capable of some amazing finishes. Jason Tatum, my goodness. left to play in the first half from outside the arc gets it to go from beyond the arc now just the one point Los Angeles lead George looking over the floor and George with the stuff Paul George is very Boston difficult to contain on a dribble drive he's got length handle and size good luck Fans, your Celtics dancer. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Fans, it's your Celtics dancer. 129 left in the first half of basketball. Here's Pritchard. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Back to George. Brown with it. George picks him up. Let's it fly from 18. And the shot is long. Here's Leonard. Moves back up. And that's two points on the layup. Leonard. Leonard's got four points this quarter. This has defined Kawhi Leonard's game going back to college. He understood rebounding is important to winning. Shoots. Tice. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Clippers leading by five. Screen by Zubac. Leonard on the wing. 
to the inside. Twenty-seven seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Zubats. That ball, Zubats. nice feed that time from George. Zubats has got the lead up to seven now for the Clippers. It's tipped. Well, Marcus Morris, the frame and the length to block Bishy. shots. That's pretty. Oh, I dunk you very much. <laughs> he, can, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two Ricky points. Jackson. Jackson, Assistant. that's good. Ball and and they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And we finish one half of basketball. Los Angeles on top. Up. Play through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. And it's a defensive three-second violation. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And with an 86% free throw average, you can count on him to come through on most trips. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. Paul George, one of those players the media appreciates because he doesn't give you pat answers. When you ask him a question, he is thoughtful and is honest. If you try something like that, you better be sure to complete it. Outside Tatum. Over in the corner, Brown. And they get it back. Fires the three. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Brown's got six. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Well, Doris, he's already a great scorer, and now Tatum has become an incredibly efficient scorer. Well, listen, the great ones are not only about putting up numbers, it's how efficiently you do it. From three, from the free throw line, this guy is so much more consistent. And yes, he's got the mid-range game that he can go to in tough spots. This guy plays big at the rim. He's everything you want offensively. Outside, smart. Outside Tatum. Poked away. Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. Now into the lineup for the Celtics. Derek White. And so it's Boston with it. Six point game. Pass to Williams. And it's Brown missing. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Here's George. Rebounded by Smart. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to Boston. pick up the slack. Lineup. Love it. Fans, your Celtics answers. Right side, Williams. Outside, Smart. Trying to find White, gets it to him. Outside, Williams. Five on the clock. Stolen away. Leonard on the wing. A three ball. And Derek White picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. First team foul. On defense, the Celtics. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Lock at six. And the defensive prowess of Williams, uh, just effective at altering shots and almost getting into the heads of shooters. 
Smart goes in. And what impressed me about Smart last year, and we're seeing it this year as well, is patience and precision as a playmaker. The Celtics shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. And you know what I love is Marcus Smart just continues to improve. We know he's a powerful athletic guard, but he wants to keep building different aspects of his game. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's George. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. George has got 12 in the game. And the assist total show how far Smart has come. Averaging around three dimes a year at the start of his career. He's now doubling that effort when given the minutes. Good sign for him and this team. Second team foul. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard keeps it simple. He says, I'm trying to be the best player I can be. I'm happy with what I've done in my career, and I'm just going to keep on from there. It's not about being famous. It's about playing basketball and having fun on the floor. Well, he is famous, Kevin, and he remains focused on the court. Agreed, David. It has served him well. Thank you. And the first one at the line is good. And Brown drops them both. Clippers leading by four. Outside for Jackson. Over Smart. Stolen by Smart. And here comes Brown. Leading the fast break. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. From past the arc. It's hauled in by Zubats. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And your Celtics dancer. to play in the third with the step back back to white with the drive played in with a nice touch off the glass 129 left to play in the third Leonard attacking oh and the jam by Leonard well, don't let Jackson. Kawhi's quiet demeanor fool you. This guy has athleticism and explosiveness. How about that in style? Here's Tice. And the rejection by Leonard. And that one goes out of bounds. Yeah. Nice touch by Zubac. an easy opportunity gets above the rim and leaves no doubt kicks it out to Leonard outside Jackson lets the three fly rebound by the Celtics and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time here's Brown takes it inside it's good this game is all even Brown's got 10. You love that this guy doesn't. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Good. Well, Paul George with the absolute tight handle able to navigate through traffic. That's ridiculous. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Now Brown. Outside, White. 
four on the shot clock. Oh, that Woo! was something else. We've got to get this guy in the dunk contest. Jalen Brown taking flight with that insane athleticism. Here's Leonard. There's the three. And oh, he hits the buzzer beater. Oh, man, that's a monster shot to close out the third. And the lead is theirs, heading in. It's the fourth quarter. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. Celtics trail by three. Here's Pritchard. Outside, smart. Screen by Tice. Tatum drives in. Inside, Horford. That one, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Well, the claw in complete command of the ball on the way up, nicely done. To the paint. Here's Tice. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. And hey guys, all about hard work from this point on. They, they worked hard to create oh, that yeah. high quality shot and then able to knock it down. Now, Paul George is an exceptional athlete and demonstrating his insane dunking skills there. Yeah, Get this guy in the dunk competition. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And the call will be against Al Horford. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Now into the lineup for the Celtics. Leonard looking around. Williams. Six on the shot clock. Rebound by Williams. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for Boston. Boston they trail by three. from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. During the last break, got to listen in on Ime Adoka's huddle with his team. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys? Thank you, David. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. One of the things we love about Jason Tatum, he's cooking right now. He's putting it to the defense, but by his emotions, it would never be betrayed. Back to Leonard. Let's it go with a three. That ball's nice feed that time from Jordan. Let's remember this is a former Finals MVP. He will not blink in the biggest of moments. Jason Tatum under duress. Big moment, no problem. Right side, George. And the rejection by Tatum. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. 
Now here's Brown. And Brown throws it down hard. You can tell Jalen Brown embraces these kinds of moments big time bucket. And it's George oh, finishing it off. Assist and, and he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? That gives them the lead. Brown's got five points in the quarter. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. Here's Zubats. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Tatum drives in. And the dunk by Tatum. Al Horford is such a tremendous passer as a big man. Wow, does he get work done offensively. Jackson with it. Picked up by Brown. Outside for Jackson. A shot's good on the assist by George. Neither team here in the fourth generating a lot of separation. Yeah, it's been a close one. Five times the lead has switched hands thus far. Here's Tatum driving to the basket. And slam dunk by Tatum. Well, just the power and authority sends a powerful message to the defense. Go to work, Jason Tatum. Here's Boston now. Found with it. Sent back by George. Well, this is what makes Paul George special. Elite two-way plays. And that send it back lock sends a message to the offense. I'm here tonight, folks. Five to shoot. Pass to Smart. Over Jackson. Misses off the left iron. Nobody near Leonard. It's in! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Here's Horford. It counts! He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot! I'll tell you, it takes a lot to knock Al Horford off balance. He is incredible at keeping his concentration through contact. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. George with the ball. Picked up by Brown. Here's the three. And Marcus Morris, good for three. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. They get it again. Williams up on top. He's looking for Horford and finds him. Here's Tatum. Good! Jason. One area Jason Tatum has worked to minimize the use of is the mid-range. But sometimes, like right there, you've got to go to it. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim wrap. Just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Come on and get loud. Here are the Celtics dancers. So the Clippers with the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. For Greg Anthony.